Tekken 8. The trailer has finally dropped. You watched it. I watched it. I've been screaming for the past half hour. So I feel like I finally calmed down enough to actually do this reaction video. And I still can't believe what I'm seeing. These graphics look amazing. Uh, I'm at a loss for words. Just the, all the effects, the hit effects, the background effects the moisture coming off the uh, the characters it's a lot to take in and uh, I'm, I'm all for it so besides the the graphics we see Jin and Kazuya fight, fade, facing off against each other in what looks to be I guess a I don't know just a, some 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 rocky area where all the elements are kind of put together we got the lava lightning tsunami hurricanes happening it's all happening right here and looking just at the character models they look great Kazuya looks pretty much the same, it looks like, but Jin, his design looks probably the most drastic change for Jin I've seen or we've seen pretty much since his, since his inception. His, 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 one, his two player outfit where he has his biker outfit or whatever, that always changes, but the, the black pants with the flame on the side pretty much always has been the same uh, for, for Jin, and this one looks a lot different. He has this I guess, I don't know if it's like an Oni kind of design happening, tribal looking aesthetic to his to his pant leg besides just the flames. And he also has a bunch of uh, bands around him, kind of reminiscent of Devil Jin in Tekken 7. So it makes me think, wonder if, do they, you know, do they really, have they been absorbed into one? Does he have full control of his devil powers? It looks like that has been insinuated in this trailer and that looks to be reinforced when he does his what looks to me like a rage art you know he does his pose he does one hit and then it goes a cinematic finish i think the rage arts are back in tekken 8 going looking back at the gameplay we also see some slow-mo effects that might be something just from the trailer but with the wild success of the slow-mo happening in tekken 7 that would not surprise me if they put the slow-mo back into the game in new ways it looks like Bound is back as well as as well as the not Bound. I'm sorry, Screw Attack or Tailspin looks like to be back. Not Bound. Tailspins look to be back in the combo system. So that leaves a so that says Rage Arts, the Tailspins and Juggle combos are the familiar uh, aspects of the mechanics of the game. So that is that's fine with me. That's good news for me. Um, I'm I'm fine with the the tailspin system. I think it looks more interesting than bound, but I also think bound could have been implemented in a more fun way as well. But yeah, this this just looks amazing. It just looks amazing. Uh, what else to say? Um, I'm looking forward to seeing more info on the game. There is always going to be questions about okay, well, how developed is the story mode going to be? Are we going to have um, different modes besides the story yeah like online how online it's gonna be and my gauge for this has always been street fighter um especially the modern era i'd say street fighter 4 and onward i think they've kind of been in a somewhat of a pattern street fighter releases their game and then tekken follows um starting from street fighter 4 the the comparison that is probably tekken 6 then Street Fighter 5, Tekken 7, now Street Fighter 6, and Tekken 8. So when I think about all the awesome features that Te uh, Street Fighter 6 is having, you know, the story mode, the the roaming looks like, the 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 animations, the, that game looks gorgeous to me as well. I The one question I pretty much pose is, has there ever been, has there ever been a Tekken game in the modern area that had less features than Street Fighter. I think Tekken 7 would probably be the closest. They were pretty similar in terms of Street Fighter 5. They both were kind of bare bones in my opinion. But Street Fighter uh, Street Fighter 4 was more or less traditional while t t Tekken 6 had a lot of um, a lot of features. Had scenario campaign and all that stuff. So my hope and what looks like to be reinforced in this trailer is that this is kind of be the quote unquote Tekken 6 of I guess uh, the new wage of Tekken. I do I do hope there's going to be a lot of different features that are going to be incorporated in the game. 
Um, also the music. I forgot to geek out about the music. The music is... I'm 100% on board with the music that they chose here. They had a lot more of the electronic, um, percussion-based music in the Tekken 7, which a lot of people are a fan of. I'm okay with it. I was pretty, it was pretty hit or miss for me, but I love the track they used here in this trailer. And if that's indicative of the kind of music that we'll be getting in Tekken 8, I am very excited. So I'm just, yeah, I'm hyped. I'm, I think that's all I could really say at this point, but I cannot wait to hear and see more of this game.